made it. Hello world, this is Dallas Michael Jones and I'm Toy Thomas, author of the Eternal Curse series. We made it, that's right. We've talked about our influences and now it's time to get down to the second book, Eternal Curse Battleground. It will be releasing May 16th at the Tidewater Comic Con in Virginia Beach. Here's some things you can look forward to. But now it is time for us to see what's happening. All right, so um, just as before, Dallas has written some questions to help him better understand influences, but the questions today are about book two. So here we go. Silly Dallas, you already know the answer to this. You know, Dallas's mommy, my sister Tori, is the inspiration for my character, Mira. Um, I imagine Mira's a little bit taller than her, not nearly as glamorous, but she's it. The crazy thing about it is, I actually used Tori's name in book two for another character. But this character, which is Tori's daughter, but in the book her name is Tori, is inspired by my niece, Tyla. Yeah, I know that's totally confusing. Play this back a couple of times. You'll get it. And uh, let's see, I try not to put a lot of my own personality into my stories, but I just can't help it. Most of my characters have either some of my personality traits or some of my quirks, maybe some of my interests, things like that. It just happens. And I also, I think I grab bits and pieces from all the women in my family and, and any person that I've encountered, I'm even going to stick in some of my nephews in some of the stories down the road. I don't know if they're up for that. Dallas, I hope you aren't expecting to get a spoiler because this is not going to happen. But I will let everyone know that there are some major differences from book one and book two. In Eternal Curse Battle Round, the pace will pick up significantly. It doesn't have the same mysterious feel as book one. By book two, all the cats have been let out of the bag and it is time to get stuff done. The one thing that I can say is that even though the overall series has a message of love, book two does not have a strong romantic theme like the first. It's more about, like it says, battle. Um, but I don't want to give the wrong impression. It's not one you know, long series of battles. It's, it is still has a very psychological aspect to it. Um, one thing I can say is that if this book, Eternal Curse Battleground, were a movie, I would blow my budget on the casting alone. In Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel, you had three main characters and one minor. In book two, there are so many new characters. You get to meet all kinds of new and interesting half-breeds, there's more humans, and there's even some angels and demons. Also, I was very, you know, excited about the prospect of introducing some new characters between the ages of 12 and 25 that I know will appeal to a younger audience. And lastly, even though I think some people kind of kind of got into the dreams that were in the first book, you're not going to see a lot of dreamy celestial, you know, war happening in book 2. In um in book 2, if you see a war, it's happening. So there is some action involved, but like I said, a lot of it is more psychological. So there are some major differences um, in book one and book two, but I think it's going to work out perfectly. <sighs> Dallas, you love that question, don't you? All right, this is the last one, and I think, think I may have a grasp on it. Here we go. I would describe Eternal Curse Battleground as the complete story of the one. He learns how to deal with love, life, family, honor, and beauty, and even his own selfish desires. But even though there will be triumph, there will also be bloodshed. So that's all we have for today. I'm so excited we made it all the way through. We learned all of our influences and we know what to look forward to in book two, Eternal Curse Battleground. So, as I've said before, don't be shy. Check out the link below. Pick up your copy of Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel. And of course, if you want to know more about the influences of the Eternal Curse series, check out 
40 Days and Nights of Eternal Curse, the official companion guide. Hop over to Pinterest, check out my Eternal Curse storyboards for soundtrack ideas and actors who could play these characters. Join me on Twitter for the conversation. Use the hashtag influence and check out the giveaway there. And of course, you know, Eternal Curse Battleground releases May 16th at the Time Water Comic Con in Virginia Beach, but you can pre-order now again at the links below. And the last but definitely not least, do not forget about the $25 Amazon gift card pre-order giveaway and more. So that's all we have. You've been such a good boy, Dallas. You are so ready for the sequel. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs>